Well, we're back in the swing of fall things and different thing, activities going on. And the last couple of weeks, I've just um, we start preschool on Tuesday. And you can tell I've been a preschool teacher for almost 10 years now. But have you? there's a book that we read almost every year, and it's We're Going on a Bear Hunt. And it's a journey of this kid going to go find a bear. And he comes across like a muddy area and he can't go over it and he can't go under it he has to go through it and then he goes and finds like a marshy and you know high weeds and you can't go over the weeds and you can't go under the weeds you just got to go through it and the last couple of weeks just uh, living our life and talking to friends and talking to some of you guys you know there's just a lot going on and it's not necessarily like catastrophes or anything but just different challenges and one morning I was thinking about some friends that are going through something and you know, our tendency sometimes is to just want to go fix it or to like just, well, if you just do this, then this will go away, whatever it may be. I, I mean, I have that. I play through those scenarios in my head to see the quickest route to get over this situation that we find ourselves in. And I was up one morning just thinking about something that somebody was going through. And that stinking book went through my head. Can't go over it. Can't go through it. Or can't go under it. you got to go through it. And, you know, sometimes we really are hesitant to do that. Sometimes my first impulse when facing a challenge is to kind of like run away or bury my head in the sand or pretend it's not happening or, or, um, or try to do things in my own power to make it different. And sometimes the only way to overcome battle is to just go through it. And the thing that we have to remind ourselves is that Christ has promised to be with us through all those battles. And he, again, I say this a lot, but he never told us that we weren't going to have battles. It's just naive of us to think that. And we can get weary, though, and we can get tired of having them. But, man, sometimes the quickest and best route to take through a situation is to go straight through it and to just know that he, he's with you all the way. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our afflictions so that we will be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are ours in abundance, so also our comfort is abundant through Christ. And just reminding myself that God's going to be there for us. Me, as I go through these things and the other things that I know that people are going through that I desperately would love to take off their plate to just make it so that they never have to deal with it. That, man, you know, thinking of things that could hurt people down years to come and battles that people are going to have for years to come and how I desperately would love to just take that out of their life so they don't have to deal with that. But then just that book, get man, you got to go through it. And they can go through it and they can survive. And God can heal them and to make them whole. And he can see them through far better than I can in my own power, in my own way. And so if there's something that you're just looking at going, I would really like to avoid this object in my life, the quickest and the best way might just be go through it and see what God does in your heart and in your life as, as you do it. And just know that he's going to sustain you and he's going to give you the grace and the mercy you need to get through it. He's going to heal those wounds that you might feel like you have as you're going through it. And, and he's just good enough to, to see us through. So uh, I just hope that encourages you. I know there's just lots of little things. It's not necessarily like life is, and some there's some big things. There's big losses. There's big hurts. There's all sorts of things. But sometimes it's those little things that you're just like, I'd love to avoid this right now and not think about it and deal with it, but to go through it knowing that the grace of God is enough for us. So we're going to take up our tithes and offerings. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for um, uh, your provision and just thinking this morning, like, whew, this is, this could be a long year, but Lord, you have provided. And so great to just be together as a family and to, as a community that is seeking you, Lord. None of us claim that we know it all. None of us claim that we have the answers, but Lord, we are seeking you together and we are lifting one another up. And there's many people that are out and about today doing all sorts of things. And we just pray, Lord, that you sustain them, that you are there with them, that as they're facing their battles, that might be tempting us to run and hide and to avoid, but Lord, just help us to face it head on and walk right through it, knowing that you are going to be with us all the way, that you will give us wisdom, that you will heal our wounds as we go, 
And Lord, we just pray that your angels just be about all of us and those who aren't here right now, just as we go into these days and busy days and busy times, Lord, we just thank you for your goodness and your mercy that you just are so generous to just pour out on us. Help us to be that graceful towards others. Help us to be that forgiving and patient with others as sometimes it's just so tempting to just throw in the flag and just run away. But Lord, we just know that that's not your way and that we can overcome anything. And Lord, we just pray right now that there's so many people that are doing uh, activities out in this warm weather and many people, some people of ours are doing the 5-0 and Lord, we just ask that you protect them, keep them safe. May they have an adventure today and may they have memories to last a lifetime. In your name I pray, amen.